University police and residential life are investigating an incident at Indiana State University after a racist slur was written outside of a student's dorm. Lily Pesavento took to campus this afternoon, and she joins me right now with more on this controversial and troubling incident. Lily. Yes, Mike, this incident happened the evening of September 11th. Mm. A racist slur was written on the whiteboard of a student's dorm. Wow. Um, but the slur wasn't the only hate speech written on the board. Very early the next morning on September 12th, a threat was written to the student. The investigation is ongoing, and students aren't holding back their frustrations about the incident. It kind of hurt me to see someone have to go through something like that. Indiana State University is in the middle of their second race-related incident in two years. After a Facebook post went viral, students and all those in the community watched as racism reared its ugly head. With the hate rhetoric that we have currently in the media and all over the world right now, People think it's okay to be hateful and racist. Sophie Morgan, a student at ISU, posted a tweet calling out the hate speech, along with pictures of the student's vandalized dorm door. ISU has not said anything to me, which they usually do. They usually have their marketing people. They'll usually send you something and they'll say, hey, can you take this down? This isn't the first time students like Morgan have come across racism on campus. People don't know that I'm African American, and they'll treat me like I'm a white person. So they'll say these things about black people when I'm around. Nathan Addison feels for the victim of the vandalism due to a personal experience with racial slurs. To be told that to my face is mind-blowing. Not only has Addison been the victim of derogatory speech, he's also witnessed it as a former RA. It's something serious that we have to um, get down to the bottom of because if we don't, then somebody in other dorms may experience this as well. Residential Life is working with university police during this investigation. Executive Director of Res Life Amanda Kinner says students have a variety of resources for issues of this nature. If students are feeling unsafe or, or just want some additional opportunity to process through, reflect, or discuss the situation in their living environment, we would really encourage them to go talk with their student staff members or their building staff members. As the investigation is ongoing, it may not seem like any problem Progress is being made. However, Kinnur invites students to bring up their concerns and ideas on how to make ISU a safer place for students of every race. We are ready and prepared to sit down with you to have a conversation and to help students feel safe and comfortable here at Indiana State University. Unfortunately, this is not the first race incident ISU has seen. Last year, a similar incident happened in the residence halls. Now, you mentioned a Facebook post. Tell me about that. So the Facebook post was written by the victim's aunt. Yeah. Uh, it's gone completely viral. It's wow. photos of what was written on the blackboard. I tried to get in contact mm. with them. I have not heard back. However, I have been doing some Facebook, Facebook stalking, and uh, the aunt is saying that ISU is progressing with this, and they are taking care of the students. It's all part of journalism today. you got to check out that <laughs> social media, because that's where people are living these days. You right? gotta creep on social media. Okay, <laughs> all right. Thank you very much, Lily. Yeah.